So tell us a little bit about the, the wristband diaries. Lady in Waiting, is that yes. the, the first of it's the, the books? It's the first one. It's a, it's a, it's a fiction uh, trilogy based on my life. Um, the first one is my years at British boarding school, aged between 12 and 18. Okay. So it's sort of everything that we got up to. Um, the good and the bad, the naughty things as well. So is this you like were a... quite naughty though, weren't you? I you was. were kind of the I never got leader. Caught, they yeah, well, you see. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, this, is this a little bit like a, a slightly naughtier Mallory Towers? Or is Could it be compared to that? Um, you know, I was asked to do an autobiography uh, many times and I just thought this was something a little bit lighter. Um, and just different to do. So were there a lot of stories in there actually based on some Every of the things that you got up to? Pretty much everything happened. I think do that's a think great idea, <laughs> though, doing an autobiography kind of in a novel. Yeah. That's one thing I haven't done, so I might nick your idea. And it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's young adults, so to, you know, everyone from teenagers and up. I mean, my, I was my mother read could, it, she You could actually it. hide behind the stories, though, couldn't you? You could yeah, use your real exactly. stories, but just embellish them and sort of go mad with the characters. Yeah. So was it good to see the characters developing? It was. Um, some of the characters will be through all three books. Um, but it was, yeah, it was really fun. I spoke to a lot of old school friends, you know, for getting some ideas, remembering yeah. some things that um, happened. Was some of it difficult? Because although it's not an autobiography, you did base some of it on your life. It, yes, it was. I kind of locked, locked myself away. Um, and when I was really focusing on writing it um, with no distractions, became a bit antisocial. But, for but a you while. also, you, you, you talk about some really difficult times in your own life. I know you changed, mm -hmm. for example, the, the age in which this happened, but you, mm -hmm. you touch on um, your, your main character. Her father dies in the book. Mm -hmm. Your father died. Uh, yes. while you were away at boarding school. And how, how were you actually told the news that your father died? Um, I was actually, at, uh, when, when I did hear about what it ha when it happened, I was already at school. I was only nine years old, yeah. though. I just started boarding school, and um, I was brought into the headmistress's office, and my mother was on the phone. Okay, and that's how I heard. so you, you, you heard it that's that way. That's a terrible way to hear, really, isn't mm. it, you know? At boarding school, I'm sure yeah. you could, I just started. It was I like know. my first time. Mm. How did you cope with that at the time, being so young and away from home? It was really hard. I mean, you know, we lived in Monaco and I was in Kent, um, you know, away from, from everybody. And, um, of course, you know, flew, flew back straight away. But it was, you know, it's definitely something that's impacted my and, life. And, Victoria, obviously, grief is grief. A, a girl losing her father it is, is one of the most heartbreaking experiences that any human being can go no. through and it doesn't matter whether you're a lady or whether mm -hmm. you're somebody living on a housing estate. The, the yeah. raw emotion that you go through is the same but there will be people who will think well what have you ever had to worry about in your life? You know you say you're, right. we lived in Monaco but I was at boarding school in, in Kent. Is this your chance to to show through through the books that you know you might look like you've you've got yeah. everything sure. but actually life can be just as tough mm. yeah life can exactly i mean i you know i lost my father and i had two half brothers i, I also lost in the space of um, by the age I was of, of 15, 16, I lost three family members. That is so wow. hard um, and so yeah. young. Do you think that made you rebel a bit? Probably did, but I, you know, I was, uh, I'm the eldest. So I have a younger brother and younger sister, so it always made me quite responsible as well because I was sort of, I, I had to look after them. Um, Alle allegedly, you, your half brother um, squandered 30 million. Now, whether that's correct or not, probably that's, more. That's what I probably mm. more. Are you ever resentful of that? That's so much money. And that was your back family. then. That was 30 years ago. So mm. can you imagine what that actually would be now? Um, yeah, I, of course, I'm. You know, I, I wish that didn't happen. Um, but that's life. That's that's what happens. And I. But can't. do you resent it a bit? Um, I do. But not, you know, not too much. I've kind of let it, it go. Stops you moving yeah, forward. No, yeah, no, I've just sort of got on with my life, and um, you know. And, and what? So what's next now? You're based in LA. Are you still based, based in, in LA? Based in LA. I've lived there on and off for 12 years now, and um, I love coming back here. I love spending time here, but I love going so back. Why did you leave England? Because you, you were doing so um, many reality shows. You did everything. You was just everywhere, and then suddenly you went to America, yeah. and then we didn't really see much of you. Um, that was the idea, you know. I. It was a stage of my life here where I just felt I was under such a microscope. I couldn't, I couldn't walk out the mm. door. Like there were photographers out on my flat in London. Like everything I, I, I did, they were there. They wrote about it. I would have friends, you know, come back. It would be an evening standard the next day. 
I think it was a time where there was no social media, so the paparazzi, um, it was a it was a lot yeah, more like heavy English, back then. Wasn't it? But yeah. now you can answer back now on like social right media. Like right now, because it. there's social media, the pap there's not as many paparazzi. But back then, it was crazy. Um, so did it force sure, you yeah. to quit? We were talking about quitting. Mm. Did that in a way force I, you to quit? Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I, I, I wouldn't say I quit. I just I just got out. You know. Um, but I, now you want to come back in. The book, you've done the jump. Does that mean you want to enter it back and come back to England? Um, I wouldn't say I want to move back permanently, <laughs> but I would like to spend some time here. Mm -hmm. um, but well, yeah. what about have, have you found a nice man yet? I am waiting for him to find me. Oh. I'm not looking. <laughs> you got sometimes you've got to go and find them, you can't just always yeah. wait for them. <laughs> you you oh, see, <laughs> you see. <laughs> I need to, I know. I know, I know. I'm still not married to one. Really. Yeah, don't, don't go out with her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I need to hang out with Kate. Like kids, you want kids? I do. You know, I really, I, I, you know, I would love to have children. Um, How old are you now? 39? I'm, I'm late 30s. So I'm 38. Um, but you know, all my friends have always said I'd be, I'm, I'm so, I am actually really good at children. Like all children love me. They're always like, they gravitate towards me. Um, so right now it's me and my dog and um, he's my baby. Yeah. Click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces and click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to really.